Sunday night, I guess the night with that last win, that was that assured the spot, correct? Yeah. Tell like, me what went through your mind. I mean, just how are you feeling? Man, it was, uh, it was an indescribable feeling. Like, I never believed that I could be an Olympian, you know? Basketball was just something that I enjoyed to do. Uh-huh. When uh, the national team called me and invited me to come play with them, it was just, I mean, I knew it was something great, but I didn't think it would be to this magnitude. So, I mean, when we won that last game, it was just, it was a surreal feeling. Like, I still had not sunk in completely. Like, I you know, this is, a, this is an athlete's. Yeah. Um, like goal to be in the listening, so it feels nice. I bet. That is great. Now tell me, Richard, how did you, I mean, it probably took a lot of work just to be on that team. How did that come about to just to be a member of the team? Well, I was playing basketball the last two seasons in Portugal. Um, I, I mean, I did my goal, like, uh, I told, like I told my mom, like, man, I want to be a member of the national team. Mm -hmm. and How many members are on the team, Richard? It's a total of 12. 12 on the right. Yeah, started, okay. Started with like 20 something and then just wow. narrowed down to 12. Tell me yeah. what's your schedule? Is it kind of chaotic? You guys got practice set up? You got to go, when do you got to go to London? Are you guys practicing in the States? How does that all go? Well, we just finished the uh, qualifying um, games in Venezuela and the um, team, grateful they gave us sort of like, five, six days off to go back to our hometown and see our family and everything. Uh -huh. But now, um, I think uh, next week, Monday, we're flying out to London to go through training camp and get settled in uh -huh. and, and then take care of business out there, hopefully make some noise in the Olympics. You've been playing professionally in Portugal, and and how's that been, I guess? How's that experience been? Obviously, it, it probably be propelled you to even this accomplishment, but how's that gone as well? Portugal is nice. You know, the people are really nice. Uh, basketball is competitive. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was a nice, it was a nice place to start my career. You know, it really gave me an opportunity. Mm -hmm. Portugal is right next to Spain, and Spain is really a powerhouse league in basketball. So, it really got me, let me, um, gave me the opportunity to see where I was in comparison to like where I need to be in order to play at that elite level. Uh huh. Uh huh. So, it was nice, man. It did a lot for my career. It I got me where I'm at now, so I have no complaints. Now, is that a place you're going to return again as well and play? No, I don't think so. I mean, I feel like I, I got everything I need from Portugal. Uh -huh. I feel like, I mean, now I want to um, see what else is out there, what else. I mean, other countries uh -huh. offer different experience. Uh, I think that would be interesting. We were trying to figure out on the, on the Internet if you're going to be, like, in the same pool as USA. Uh, what, what do you know as far as that schedule? What's your thought already if you, you know, getting a chance to play against the USA? Man, growing up and seeing these all-stars play on TV, uh -huh. man, I think, I think it'll be real nice, man, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of people get to have this opportunity mm -hmm. to go out there and play against people that you kind of idolized growing up in your career, people who gave you passion to play the game. Yeah. But I think, man, USA, like any other team, they're beatable. Mm -hmm. Stay focused. You know, we didn't come to the Olympics just to just to say, "Oh, we're an Olympians now." Like mm -hmm. we want to do something big with this opportunity that we're getting. We're excited, and just want you to know we have. You know, you got a lot of support here in Central Illinois. So.